What is the best business to start? There are a lot of different businesses you could start, but I think the best business to start is one that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about what you're doing, you'll be more likely to succeed. Got it. And what are some of the best business ideas right now? There are a lot of different business ideas out there, but some of the best include starting your own business, franchising, and investing in real estate. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, what are the best business books? The best business books are The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, The Millionaire Fastlane by MJ DeMarco, and The Startup Owner's Manual by Steve Blank. I do love The Lean Startup and The Millionaire Fastlane. Those are two of the best books ever written. I'd say my third favorite would be Blue Ocean Strategy. I really love that one as well. But what is the best way to start a business? The best way to start a business is by finding a niche that you're passionate about and that you have the skills to fill. Once you've found your niche, you can start by creating a business plan and building a team of like-minded individuals. Interesting, okay. So is online business profitable? Yes. Online businesses can be very profitable. If you have a great business idea and you execute it well, you can make a lot of money. All right, and what are your best online business ideas? Some great online business ideas include starting a blog, creating an online course, and selling products or services online. Okay, but let's get a little bit more specific. What are your top five favorite online businesses to start right now? The top five online businesses to start right now are a blog, an online course, an e-commerce store, a dropshipping business, and an affiliate marketing website. Wow, those are actually some really good choices. I would agree with a lot of those on your list. So how do you start an online business? How do you actually go about doing it? You can start an online business by finding a niche that you're passionate about, creating a business plan, and building a team of like-minded individuals, like I mentioned before. Once you have those things in place, you can start marketing your business online and reaching out to potential customers. Okay, I sort of disagree with you there, but um, what do you think about Amazon FBA? Yes, I think Amazon FBA is a great business opportunity. It's a great way to reach a wide audience of potential customers, and it's relatively easy to get started. Okay, interesting. And what do you think about Shopify dropshipping? I think Shopify dropshipping is a great way to start an online business. Got it. And is affiliate marketing a good business model? Yes, I think affiliate marketing is a great business model. It's a great way to earn commissions by promoting other people's products, and it's relatively easy to get started. Okay, I would definitely agree with you there. What do you think about YouTube, becoming a content creator and creating videos? and then uploading them to YouTube for a living. Yes, I think creating a YouTube channel is a great business opportunity. You can reach a wide audience of potential viewers and it's relatively easy to get started. Got it. And do you think starting a social media marketing agency is a good idea? Yes, I think starting a social media marketing agency is a great business idea. You can help businesses reach a wider audience and connect with potential customers. It's a great way to earn a living and it's relatively easy to get started. Okay, and do you think starting a freelancing business is a good idea as well? Yes, I think freelancing is a great business idea. You can be your own boss, set your own hours, and work from anywhere in the world. It's a great way to earn a living and it's relatively easy to get started. Got it. And why do you think it is day traders and penny stock traders almost always lose money? Most day traders lose money because they don't have a good understanding of the market. They also tend to make impulsive decisions and don't have a solid plan. Got it. And what do you think about the future of cryptocurrency? I think the future of cryptocurrency is very bright. It's a new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the financial industry. Interesting. And what do you think about real estate? You think starting a real estate business right now is a good idea? Yes, I think starting a real estate business is a great idea. You can earn a lot of money by buying and selling property. It's a great way to make a living and it's relatively easy to get started. Interesting. And then what do you think about online courses? Do you think starting an online course is a good business idea? Yes, I think creating an online course is a great way to make money. You can reach a wide audience of potential students and it's relatively easy to get started. I would agree with you there. So what do you think are the top five niches to start an online business in? The top five niches to start an online business are health and fitness, personal development, relationship advice, financial advice, and business advice. Those are some pretty good niches. So um, I'm going to test you a little bit here. So what do you think about a picks and shovel business? A picks and shovel business is a business that provides products or services that people need in order to succeed in their chosen field. For example, a picks and shovel business might sell products or services that help people start their own businesses. Gotcha. That was that was really good. I was testing you there a little bit. So uh, do you think picks and shovel type businesses are good? Yes, I think picks and shovel businesses are great. 
You can earn a lot of money by selling products or services that people need. It's a great way to make a living and it's relatively easy to get started. Interesting. So switching gears here a little bit, what would you say is the best way to find a mentor? There are a few different ways to find a mentor. You can reach out to your network of friends and family, look for mentorship programs in your area, or search online for mentors. Got it. And what are your top five pieces of business advice? One, don't be afraid to take risks. Two, always be learning. Three, surround yourself with positive people. Four, Stay focused and persistent. Five, believe in yourself. All right, and then for the complete beginners out there, what would you say your top five business tips are? One, do your research. Two, find a niche that you're passionate about. Three, create a business plan. Four, build a team of like-minded individuals. Five, market your business online. And then who would you say your top five favorite entrepreneurs are? One, Elon Musk. Two. Bill Gates. Three, Steve Jobs. Four, Mark Zuckerberg. Five, Jeff Bezos. Got it. Well, I agree with a lot of what you said. Uh, there's a few things that I sort of disagree with or I would have added more to them at the very least. But with that being said, check out my other video right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.